Oh boy, guys. Welcome into Wisconsin. You, you knew we were coming here. It's time we built our new farm, and there's some rich farmers out in the countryside here. Look at this farm. Yeah, we've bought and stuff across the street from, well, rich man farmer here. It's time to build. We're not going to be in that great of shape to begin with. I mean, we got a nice, we got a nice dairy. We're going to build today. Can we get it to look anything like that? I mean, look at the house these guys got. Ridiculous. Let's go for a rip. I'll show you guys around. We'll go take a look at the farm and see what we got to get built today. Uh, it's... It's build day today, guys. It's definitely build day as we kind of try to figure out how we're going to get this new farm up and running. Like I said, it's going to be a dairy operation and we've got, looks like we've got some steep competition across the street to deal with. Nice looking farm. Look at that house. Now, while we have some, uh, some decent lands to work with down here, not really, I don't really like the look of this farm. I'm not going to lie, but price is right. So you can't, beggars can't be choosers, right? So let's pull on in. Uh, crops are growing already this year. I don't know what the whole story on this farm was. It just came available, so there's some equipment that's here. Not a lot, but there's some stuff to get started at least. I feel like anything that didn't have a serial number or something on it was just stolen or taken from this farm. I wonder if, um, rich man back across the street there managed to take anything off this farm, make some extra, little extra cash when whatever happened, happened. And where is everything? That's what I'd like to know. What you do with everything? I, you, you got me. But uh, we do have some tractors at least. Now the house itself, yeah, she's going to have to stick around for the time being. I can't afford to build a new one of those. And you know what? Whatever. It's a two-story farmhouse. More than adequate for our needs. Brand new cattle barn. Look at this thing. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of work going to be happening here. Pretty sweet looking cattle barn. So we'll have to do some stuff to this. Maybe get this built up a little bit more. But pretty happy with this. But really, that's all it is. There's a couple pits over in the corner. We've got this old barn right here. That's probably going to be knocked down. I don't have a use for this, really. I don't know what else I could... Maybe we'll leave this up for the time being. I don't know. It's a pretty old farm, guys. It's time we uh, we started building this up. we we'll get some new new stuff here for us, at least, right? So, we've got uh, half a mil. Let's see if we get some silos built. Get some sheds built up on this. And then we'll figure out equipment as well. We've got most of our equipment already, but, you know, we'll have to take a look through the shop. Actually, let's go take a look right now. I mean, most of this stuff is 70s era stuff. So, it's about 10, 15 years I mean, a couple international tractors in there. And we've got the combine as well, John Deere combine. But let's start off in the back here. We got an old farm all. So maybe a little older than 70s. It looks like about a 60s model. Farm all 1206. Uh, two wheel drive. Not, not bad. We've got the keys for all these. So that's all right. And then right next door. Well, international 50, uh, 1586. So once again, a little bit older. You know, probably, probably a 15 year old tractor. So that's okay. Um, I sure got some life in it. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. And then just outside, see, this is like, they don't have a, a shop for this. I wonder if it burnt down, but there's John Deere 7700 and we got a bin in the back. You know what? Whatever. Enough to get us started. We still need some other pieces of equipment in here, but uh, this thing looks like it's in really good shape. But for like a 15 year old combine, I'll take that. So let's figure out what we're going to need. Like I said, some silos and some storage. We got the cattle area. I'm pretty happy with this. There is a large pasture off the back, right on down into the valley. We've got more farms off to the west side there. And then obviously that big farm is just to the south. But we'll see what we can do. You know what? We have the land. We may actually have the nicer land, I think, personally. But it's just we need to build up the farm. The farm is not, well, it has nothing on that guy over there. I'm telling you. It's a nice looking farm. But we'll see. I want to get cattle. Yeah, we'll, we'll turn this into a nice dairy. But before we can do any of that, any of that, guys, we need to, uh, well, we need to build up this farm. We need to get this up and running. We can't do any of it until that's done, so bitter powder. Oof, you know what? 2500 bucks for a dog? 1985, 86? It's expensive. Uh, we need the dog, though. <laughs> first things first. Do Puppers is in there. Now, looking around our farm, guys, I'm pretty happy with the way this layout is. We have, I don't think I need to terraform anything out here. And that's really what I notice on this farm. It's, we're not going to need to terraform anything. Everything looks pretty darn good. I think we're going to build some shops and maybe some fence lines on some of these roads. I don't like the entrance. I've, I've never liked the entrance to this farm. It, it doesn't have like a, a nice looking entrance coming down the roadways to the farm. And there's not much I'm going to be able to do about that. I don't think just the way the dairy is laid out and we have the house in the back there. There's not going to be a great way to make this look good as far as I can think of. But we'll see what we can do. But, you know, first thing first, we do need to get some silos built. So that's going to be one of our main, main things. Silos first. Got to have space for those things. So let's start with that. So we have a couple of options on bins we can, we can build here. Of course, 
we could go down to our GSIs, but the one thing's with these, we'll need more augers, of course. I wouldn't mind getting something that's got a vertical auger like this one here. I'm thinking this Brock bin might be the way to go. You know what? We'll splurge a little bit, get a little bit of a better bin. Now, location, this is the problem we're running into. Uh, we could maybe put bins up on this side. I mean, the base area up here, put them down below on this flat spot. It's been a bit of a fight trying to figure out where I'm going to put the bins. So I think we're going to put them down a little lower. And I think that might work out a little bit better. Um, at least if we put them down here, we can load them wherever we need. So I can put a, an auger on the far side. We can have them so they load up on this side, maybe. Or actually, you know what? I think we're going to be better off if we load off at an angle. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. So I think if we put them on this side like this, we'll put two bins side by side. Not going three, just simply two bins. Nothing crazy. We don't need anything crazy. This is not a huge farm. We'll put one right here. Let's see here. How's our angle look? Right there. And we'll put another one kind of just a little bit further down. Just so they're both in a somewhat straight line is going to be the, the, the key to this. Kind of like that. Now we have to tear off. We'll have to do a little bit of work to, to clean that up. But that's kind of how the bins are going to look. Okay, guys. I said I'd go with one or two bins. We're going to go with three. Three looks a little bit better. Just the right size. Now, I'm not sure if I like having this close to these big silage pits. But it's easy access for some trucks if we need to pull in here. We'll have lots of space probably for the auger, I think. And if we have to, we can always put the auger across and load over on this side. Go from the back side. That's, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that works out once we get that all set up. Now, as far as sheds go, we don't have a lot of options here. I mean, there's only so much tech we've got available. I mean, we've got an old an old shed we can stick up somewhere. Maybe we'll knock this down at some point. We'll see. I'm tempted to knock that down. Uh, first of all, we do have an old shed here for combines. We could probably stick this right here. Get this out of the way. Keep it fairly simple. Boom. Perfect old shed for that. And then we got the bigger one as well that will fit a bunch of stuff down. I want to stick this kind of over by the house here. Keep this just so we have more storage. We're going to need storage for equipment. And you know what? We could use that as kind of a, a carport as well for the house. Uh, we might have to move some of this stuff out of the way first. Hang on. Well, at least the old combine still runs pretty decent. Let's push this off to the side. Still got to get the bin, though. Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's more like it. Right up to that bin. Let's grab that. Move it um, Move it down there. And then we can get the big shed right in beside here. Like I said, we're not starting with a whole lot here, guys. It's going to be a little bit of work. I really just hope we can handle all this equipment. That's all. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. Put her aside. Yeah, that's better. Now we got some space. There we go. Now we can get, make her look like a little bit of a, a little more space to work around. I wonder if I should put this straight. I'm going to put this straight on. Just so she's straight and level with the other barn. There's still space to get through there. Boom. All right. That's that's all we got for now. Uh, we, what else are we going to need? Well, of course, a place to fuel up. Of course, that's, uh, that's something we need, of course. The old fuel station. We'll stick that down here as well. Get that up beside. Looks like a good spot for it. And probably a little bit of a, a watering cistern here as well. Let's see here. We can stick that in behind. Maybe over on the back side here. Perfect. All right. Looks good. A little bit of water back there if we desire. And you know, I forgot completely about the stave silo. Let's uh, slap one of these in if we can get this to work as well. Now, you know what? Since this is a brand new sh shop in here, we'll see if this is going to work out. I'm a little concerned we won't be able to unload. We'll see. Might work. Might not. Got to make sure I'm nice and nice and close to the building so it goes through it. Kind of like that. Kind of built into the shed. We'll see how this works out. I'm only going to place one down. I think that's more than enough for what our purposes will be. We'll slap that in kind of like... So, we'll have to see how that all works out for us. I'm tempted to do two just for looks. I'm really tempted to do two. If I find you never see just one standing there, do you? It feels like we always see two. I love the look of them, though. They look so good. Let me put down another one. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sucker for how good these things look. Uh, so I need to put down another one. We'll see if we can put it in the same spot as it is in the base. Just so it works out that way. And hopefully... Hopefully we can use them. Fingers crossed. I mean, I think I placed it right. Looks pretty close. And last of all, we need to put some fences down. Make this kind of complete. I'm trying to decide. We want rustic fences. There's the two options. You know what? Maybe the cheaper of the two might be better. What else do we have that would be rustic? There's so many options. Oh, rustic fences. It's, it's, I don't want to just do barbed wire. We'll do rust. You know what? Let's go with the first one. I never use the first one, so let's go with the first ones instead. Bring these on out. Uh, too close. Okay. Too close still. Come on. It doesn't collide, does it? 
<laughs> what is it colliding with? Let's go this way then. What are you colliding with? Really? It's right there. That's as far as we can go. Well, whatever. Give us a good look at the at the fence so we can kind of see what it's going to look like. That's all right. Um, these fences are so old looking. I kind of like them. We'll get them up and around the road. Take these on up. And uh, kind of give you an idea of how that's it's going to look in there. In fact, now do we have space? I can put a gate in here someplace. Uh, you know what? I always build the fence first where I want it to go. And then we slap in our gates. And then lastly, just up to the road here. Perfect. Right about there. Should be fine. And we'll uh, we'll shrub this off to make it so it's, it's finished. There we go. And then same thing on the way back. All right, perfect. That looks a little bit better. We got fences going up the road. You know what? We do need to build some more here. Hang on. I, I forgot the spot right here. I don't like this. Yeah, it needs to come off like the side of the building here. How close can I get? Oh, that's a that's a gate. We don't want gates. We want fences. Bring this on up so it welcomes you into the uh, into the into the, the farm itself. Old dilapidated fence, and then brings it around. Perfect. That's better. That's what I'm talking about. Right about there. That's all I need. And then you know what? The traditional shrubberies, just to keep uh, it kind of hidden so you don't even see the end of the fence, is kind of what I'd like to do right in there. As far as you know, it just goes into that shrub and that's that's it. That looks a little bit better. At least we're coming in now. We have these old fences. I'm not really a huge fan of them, but you know what? For this the style of this farm, I think that's going to look best. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's a, the simplest rebuild we've done on this. Everything had to be replaced, of course. Even this, this cattle pasture, this cattle barn right now. All had to re be, be rebuilt right now. There was nothing here beforehand, minus the house for some reason stick, stuck, stuck around. So it's not bad. We're getting there. We'll see how she looks as we get going. We need more equipment, of course. The next couple days, we'll head down to Box. In fact, let's go for a cruise. These bins seem awfully new. I'll give you that much. Everything else pretty rustic looking on this farm. And we'll see what we can do to build this all up over time. Well, let's head down over to the shop because... Things are looking pretty good there. Yeah, the shop just around the corner here is pretty decked out with equipment. We drove past here the other day. There's a lot, a lot to see here, guys. I think we're not going to have a problem getting some new equipment, whatever we might need. Looks like uh, it looks like we can find it out here in the county in Wisconsin. So that's always a good sign. I mean, look at this. Look at the amount of equipment that's here. He's got tractors coming out the yin yang. Too bad it's Sunday and it's all closed right now, but. Like I said, we need to pull in here and get some equipment soon enough, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, folks, hope you enjoyed today's video. I know a little bit different in this rebuild, but we'll get things running here soon. So thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. And, uh, of course, if you want to see more of our build, maybe check out uh, one of our last builds. That was a fun one. Cheers, guys. We'll see you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.